Hi, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom, and today we're going to look at how to use an Adobe Express graphic as your background on a Google Doc. All right, once you begin, go ahead and open up a doc. Make sure you have everything written before you start. That way you have your headers set up. Go into the insert, scroll down to headers and footers, I'll make sure it's open, and then click back inside of the header, go back to images, and then find the image that you've already created in Adobe Express. Now once you import it, it's going to look kind of weird. you got to scroll back up to the top of the page and then begin working on your image options. What you'll see here are a couple of different things, but I always like to open the tab, not work inside the document so I can see everything at once. Now the first couple of times you do this, make sure you're paying attention to your size. When it imports it, it imports it based on the setup for your ruler at the top of the page. So you want to make sure that the size of your object is the size of a page, which is eight and a half by 11. Once you've set the size, then go to text wrapping, send it to the back, and then go to position. Once you go to position, you'll put zero and zero. Now it'll say move with text. You want to make sure you change that to fix position on the page because that ignores your ruler setup on the document. Once you've done all of these, Get rid of your image options and then check the edges of the actual image to make sure it's flush with the sides of the page. Then click on the document to make sure that you don't have any weird things happening with the actual image itself and the document. Once this is all done, it should go ahead and repeat on every page you have and now you have a set graphic for your design. This is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom. Again, hit the subscribe button if you like what you saw or check the next video that popped up. It might be something with Adobe Express or with Google Docs. 